on a daily basis we want to be at least looking at our system and making sure that there's water in there uh, if the water gets too low your pump can burn out which would uh, cause you to have to replace the pump uh, you also might notice that if the water in the reservoir is really low that your emitters are going to start dripping slower and not deliver as much water to the plants so we'll take a look at our uh, reservoir down here and this, the, in this system, we'll notice that our <clears throat> uh, water level is only about halfway, halfway full in this lower reservoir, which is, is okay. The system's still operating, but we don't want to ever let the system get lower than this uh, with water. Then if the water level goes below the intake on your pump, it'll start sucking air. That's when you can uh, have damage occur. You also might notice if the water gets too low, you start hearing the pump make some ugly sounds. <laughs> so we'll keep it nice and quiet. There's several ways we can fill up our reservoir. Um, with this new solution, we're going to add this right into the base here. And just top off this lower reservoir. Um, I'm going to continue to, I'm going to use this other half gallon of water half to finish filling up that reservoir and then we'll take you guys and show you how to fill your top off tanks. So we've topped off our lower reservoir, now we're going to fill up our top off tanks. Uh, that's going to help to keep our system full over the next couple of weeks so that we're not having to add a gallon of water every single day. <laughs> <laughs> These towers come out just like the plant towers do. You lift up and swing the bottom out. If this tower happened to still have liquid in it and you wanted to remove it, you'll want to make sure you close this bottom valve before you take that tower out of your system. Otherwise it will drip water all over the place. There's a variety of ways to fill these towers. You can use a garden hose if you have one available. Uh, some of the schools we have uh, have a sink right in the classroom. They can fill a pitcher uh, for us here. We're gonna walk just across to the next building over, use a couple of gallon pitchers, and fill our top off tanks. We're about to fill up our top off tanks. Um, one thing we wanna make sure of is whichever end you have at the bottom, Gonna make sure that valve is closed completely and the top end which you're going to be filling up you will want to open the valve so that it will allow water to come into the tower. Um, we're going to go ahead and get two pitchers going. This process can take a little bit of time, can take about 20 minutes if you're filling two towers. Usually takes about 10 minutes per tower to fill them up. Uh, the specs say they hold 2.75 gallons of water. so. Uh, three of these pitchers should be more than enough to fill up one of these towers. We'll put them to the test right now. So we got our two and three quarters gallons in there pretty much filled up right to the top. We're now going to close that valve so that little water that was on the top will come out. We won't be leaking. Won't be losing water. And now we'll repeat for the tower two. We've got our top off tanks filled with our source water or base water whichever you want to call it um, just to be sure for another time we test that source water in parts per million and we're at about 400 and we'll call it 440 parts per million and we're gonna double check our pH to make sure that it's similar to the gallon that we mixed up before we're at 6.5 between 6.5 6.6 so we're in a good range for pH 
and what we can do now is we can open this valve again the top one again we want the bottom valve closed and water will flow right out the top valve we can have open we put two and three quarters of a gallon in each of these tanks right now it's just source water but we can go ahead and make this into a nutrient solution so that as these top off our reservoir they'll be also supplying the nutrients that we need we're going to do one two teaspoons and about a half of one or a little more than half going to just use a little bit of more water to wash that down in there then we're going to close this valve and we'll insert this tower back into our farm wall we're going to put the top in first slide the bottom over there and it will rest right on that PVC support. We'll add some nutrients to our second top off tank here. If you have two of them, if you only have one, that works just as well. With 2.75 gallons of water in here. We're gonna do one, two, and not quite a full Scoop for our third. Wash that down with a little bit more of our base water. We close the valve and then we insert that tower back into our wall. And at this point, <clears throat> we are ready to, now we have the towers in with both valves closed, top and bottom valve closed, to top off the system and to keep the system full, we're going to open the bottom valve and you'll hear, you'll hear the nutrient solution start to flow out of there. This is going to fill up our reservoir until the water level covers the opening of this tower at which point it will stop releasing water and as the plants use water or the, a little bit might evaporate from the system whenever water needs to be replaced uh, and it goes below the level of that opening this tower will then release some water to continuously top off this system they usually keep the system full for a week uh, when the plants are really young might last up to two weeks uh, but you will want to at least once a week you know try and pick this tower up if it's heavy still has liquid you're good and you know it's still topping off if it lifts right up uh, you're going to want to refill it and keep your system full and running all year long